Hi there, welcome to the shack. Um, I'm at the bottom of my garden and um, what I'm showing you is a modification to my £4.50 top band end fed wire. Uh, some of you will look at this and realise that the, I've increased the height of the antenna. Well, I've probably more than doubled the height of it now from, I don't know, three metres above the ground to at least six, six metres above the ground at its lowest point across the garden. Um, what I've done is I've um, I've added an additional seven metre pole and removed the uh, kind of piece of plastic tubing that I was supporting it halfway down the garden. So the configuration is now kind of, uh, it's more of a, of a sort of horizontal L configuration rather than a sort of general zigzag down the garden. And um, I think I think at the end of the day, it's kind of a common sense approach that if you can, a slightly less convoluted route for the antenna, obviously the straighter an antenna, the better usually, um, I thought was gonna help get my signal out and um, obviously increasing the height. So basically, yeah, rather than the zigzagging down the garden, uh, sort of two and a half, three meters above the ground, it now goes straight down the garden and then across at the bottom, sort of six or seven meters above the ground. Uh, the, the reason I did this was because obviously, well, it's an obvious thing to do in terms of improving antenna performance, but at the same, at the same time, um, it didn't actually, it doesn't, it doesn't cost anything. And it was just, it was also based on some feedback from one of the club members. So using this antenna on top band, everybody can hear me. And sometimes there are seven or eight of us, apart from one guy, um, M0IXF, and he can never hear me very well at all. Um, and another of my uh, Harwell ARS colleagues suggested, well, you know, increase the height of your antenna, Clint, do something about the length or at least the, uh, the, the the kind of direction and see if that improves things. So um, I was actually planning to do absolutely nothing, but um, because I had a spare pole, I thought I would. This is the um, the earth rod that uh, that I bought. This is the only part of it that cost any money actually, which I hammered into the ground. So it was four foot earth rod. These are the radials, 25 radials that are under the lawn now. And then there's, this is the earth cable and then there's three quarter wave radials that are above ground. And uh, so that remains unchanged. Um, the length of the antenna remains unchanged. So it is literally um, just a case of increasing the height and, and uh, changing the kind of uh, orientation of it. So it, it's just a horizontal L now rather than a kind of horizontal Z. Uh, and guess what? Um, on the basis of uh, one midweek sked, um, it seems to have made absolutely no difference at all, um, which is not surprising, I think, um, because there are usually many factors involved in uh, all that will contribute to antenna performance. Um, I was basically being copied at sort of five and eight, five and nine on this antenna during that scared, which is basically identical to my previous antenna performance. Um, and now that's okay. Uh, what, I, what I should say though is that that's not really enough kind of data. That's a measurement. So that, I mean, someone's signal report is empirical, but because of variations of propagation, what you actually probably have to do is look at how this antenna configuration performs on average versus the average for my old configuration. So that's what I'm going to have to do. Um, which is fine. So uh, I, the, I was just pleased that having made these changes, despite that they were made in order to improve the performance, that they could still hear me. And they could all still hear me, hear me um, basically as well as they could previously. So um, I think it's just a sort of matter of time, really. Uh, and let's see uh, how my signal reports kind of develop over the next sort of few weeks. Uh, but at the moment, I'm not really hearing anything back from the other Harwell uh, ARS members that, that, to make me think, I've made it worse. I don't think I've made it worse. I, I'm, I don't think I've made it worse. I may have made it better, but as I said, time will tell. Um, it matches up again, no, no problem. In fact, the difference in matches um, negligible to my uh, previous configuration. The band's pretty 
dead at the moment. I'm just trying to see if I can hear anyone. Yeah, the back. There was someone out there earlier, a bit earlier. But weak. But anyway, um, so yeah, so there you go. So that's my um, my new NFED uh, top band uh, wire antenna, um, coupled to the 7300, of course. And um, like I said, I'll uh, see how uh, how it performs in the next few weeks. Um, something very satisfying about building your own antenna rather than buying one. I mean, obviously, it's quite satisfying to put any antenna up and find that it works properly, and that you're, you know, you're. There we go. There's a signal. You know, find that it works and it's working well as was the case with my G5RV. Um, but to actually build an antenna and it not cost you very much money and find that it does also works well is, is, is way better. Um, so yeah, and uh, yeah, definitely would recommend that approach to, uh, to anybody build, uh, thinking of building their own. thing about this radio actually which is sort of not really related is the noise reduction on this radio is really superb the um i've got other radios with noise reduction when you hit that it kind of affects the modulation uh, and, the, and the audio sort of sounds quite distorted it does reduce the noise but it seems to have a much bigger impact on the sort of quality of the actual audio you get whereas with this radio it really is superb so um uh yeah as i continue to uh, hail the performance of the 7300 um yeah a brilliant radio so there you go anyway i thought i'd offer that little update um yeah if you've got enough space uh and you don't need a huge amount of space actually for top band um i think it's worth a go and like i said i didn't think it was possible but uh it is and uh you know kind of it's when you when you build an antenna the changes or the modifications or improvements uh you know are kind of incremental you know the, my first version of this antenna was simply just a piece of wire 36.4 meters of wire zigzagging down the garden um and uh i was copied with that wire but weakly and then i added the earth rod um and then uh, 25 radials five meter radials and then the three quarter wave radials and uh, that improved things significantly I, but you can be you've got to be a bit careful you can just keep adding radials it won't do any harm but you get a sort of forever diminishing returns really in terms of performance by the time you get to sort of 29 30 you you probably won't hear the difference unless perhaps you're working a you know really kind of weak signals dx or something so uh but uh, yeah definitely uh definitely worth a go um there's some other stuff in the garden, including that rather large uh, telescopic pole, which uh, will be one of the subjects of my um, weekly update uh, video, which is uh, going to be uh, coming um, tomorrow. So anyway, so there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. 73.